Hello everyone, I have another card featuring Spellbinders Club Blooms, the large die of the month for January. The size of the blooms and foliage make it very easy to pull together an arrangement. The beautiful detailing makes this die set extra special. The first thing that I did was die cut all of my flowers and foliage. They are easily and quickly colored using blender brushes and positively saturated inks. When you have lots of die cuts to color, this is an efficient way to do it. All of the flowers are being colored with either a combination of bubblegum and taffy or watermelon and cherry. To get a deeper tone around the edges of a couple of the flowers, I apply the ink directly from the ink pad. I then use my blender brush to smooth it out. The color of my foliage is a little unusual going with blue tones. I'm working with Galaxy and Twilight. And why did I choose this color? My background has a bit of a nighttime feel to it, and so that's what led me to the blues. I start off with my voice fine and then not, because I am actually doing this voiceover in two different sittings. And between the sittings, I got a tremendous head cold. Anyways, for the centers of the flowers, I am embossing them, so I've given them a good rub on Versamark ink and then sprinkled gold embossing powder over them. With a pair of tweezers, working with the larger centers was pretty easy. Embossing the small ones was a little trickier, and I switched over to my craft pick. So I kind of get going on something, and then afterwards I think, why didn't I just die cut them out of matte gold cardstock? But here you have it. What was easy, though, was getting the centers, even the small ones, onto the flowers with the jewel picker. There are a couple of flowers that need to be assembled. The die for this flower was die cut twice and then the petals offset from one another. For the other flower that needs to be assembled, I first put together the center for it and adhered it to the back of the petal. To adhere the front, I used a little bit of foam tape which I'm having to trim down. Flowers are going to be arranged on an oval using two of the dies from Oval Essentials. The first die cuts the oval. The second die, which I have taped together to the first one, provides a pretty dot detail. One side of the oval where the flowers are going to sit will be inked with a pretty yellow called Sunbeam. On the other side, I'm going to be applying a soft gray called Earl. The inks are applied several times, overlapping one color with the next to achieve a nice smooth blend between the two. After a few coats, I have the gray at the level of saturation that I want it, and then I just finish up by blending the yellow into it. I've played around quite a bit getting my arrangement exactly the way I want it on the oval, and now I'm going to use some press and seal to pick it up to keep it intact. Before I get started, I'm first going to adhere the oval onto an oval die cut of black sheet foam. The die cuts that are sitting uppermost on my stacked layers of die cuts sitting on the press and seal will be adhered first. I found it easiest to tackle this by sections. After laying out the lower part of the arrangement, then I started hearing it. I'll be doing some hand shaping with the leaves, so I apply the adhesive just to the main stem. When applying glue to small areas to prevent it oozing out, I tap it off on some paper towel first. The flower will be attached with a foam dot. The petals have deep die cuts between them, making them very easy to hand shape. Music 
and I just continue in this manner, building the arrangement, shaping the flowers as I go, and when I have everything put together, then I go back and give some of those leaves a little bit of a lift from the background. This arrangement is finished off with a few of those smaller flowers just tucked in here and there. I'm using one of the sentiments from the small die of the month kit, but instead of die cutting it, I'm going to be foiling it. I've inked up some cardstock with that cherry ink and then foiled it in gold. This set comes with banner dies, so I've used that to cut my sentiment and black sheet foam so that it can be stacked. The oval is adhered to a top folding A2 size card base out of black cardstock. And then I go back and just tuck in a few more little leaves here and there. After the sentiment is adhered, I'm going to accent around the arrangement with some gold foil half pearls. And that completes this pretty birthday card featuring Spellbinder's January Large Die of the Month, Club Blooms. Hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, I appreciate your visit.